Christy, and I'm Hi, here Christy. with Robin of Yarnbirds, <laughs> and so I just want to ask you all about your truck. So I saw this truck first at Rhinebeck 20, whenever that was, in the before times. 2019. Yes, yeah. and so tell me all about your truck. It's a 2009 Ford Isada. So in its heyday, it was a top of the line. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, um, we just kind of got lucky and it belonged to a friend of ours when we were looking we didn't know mm -hmm. and honestly I did not want an RV at all I wanted what Barbara and Meredith had the yarn over truck mm -hmm. in so, California in California mm -hmm. but my husband said you need you need comfortable seating you need air conditioning you need electric we're not gonna get that with a with a unless it's truck. an RV yeah exactly exactly mm -hmm. So we happened to, we have a, f a friend who had an RV, um, uh, RV lot, mm -hmm. and he said, I know of this truck, so I think Robin would like it. So we went and checked it out. It was night. All we had was flashlights. We couldn't get inside, and then we stopped at a friend's on the way back, and that friend's friend was there who said, oh, I own that lot, and I own that RV. Oh, my god! So we wrote a check, bought it for a song, pretty much. And then we spent six to nine months outfitting it. So, so did you do that yourself? We did it ourselves. Oh. We have lots of friends that do lots of different things. So yeah, so it just worked out. It worked out perfect. And so um, how do you start? Do you sketch first and say, I know I'm going to want these shelves. I know I'm going to want... I spent a lot of time on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people are making their tiny homes now with I know. these RVs, yeah. right? Yeah, they are. Thinking outside are. the box of what we used to know an RV to look right. like, right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Yeah. And so what is the magic here? Because these shelves, I mean, what happens when you ride? What happens to all the yarn? So I have a mesh that gets put on two cup hooks at that end. Mm -hmm. It wraps around two cup hooks at this oh, end. Wow. So all of this stays in. That just magically stays put. Yeah. Um, well, I can see there's little, the hooks kind of go up a little they bit. They do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, one will pop off the grid. But mm -hmm. um, it's almost yeah. like livestock. Yes. Just to make sure the chickens don't get right, loose. Right, exactly. So exactly. why did you want to have a yarn truck? I, um, so I still have a corporate day job, mm -hmm. and I knew I would be having that for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but I saw a truck at uh, Mid-Ohio Fiber Festival probably in 2015, something like that. And at the time, the Buffalo Wool Company out of Texas had a truck, mm -hmm. and it was parked there. And I'm like, oh, wow. What a really cool concept. Mm -hmm. So I kind of walked around. I talked to um, the owner, Ron Minsk Minskin, mm -hmm. I think is his name. Mm -hmm. So I chatted with him. I snapped a couple pics. Um, I took it home. My husband drag races for a hobby. So I said, what about this? And he's like, that we can do. Mm -hmm. So Love that he was on board. Yeah. Yeah, he was totally on board. And does this allow you, I mean, we're speaking kind of in the after times, after COVID a little bit. We're getting into the after. So... Does this allow you to travel and interact with people because it's on wheels? I mean, is it that does, part of yeah. it? Yeah. So I do primarily fiber festivals. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, I can, you know, with the corporate job, you know, it's Monday through Friday and I've been at this, that job for 30 some years. Mm -hmm. So I have lots and lots of vacation time. Yes. You so I up. just take off, you know, a Thursday or Friday and a Monday and do the fiber festivals and yeah, but it's just so much fun. I just roll in. I spend a you know, hour or two setting up and then it takes me half the time to load up and then I roll out. Okay, so what are your tips for not falling asleep while you're driving? Oh, hmm. Well, usually I have someone with me. Oh, good. So they'll keep me awake. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's been a really long uh, show, then sometimes we'll just stay over one more day. Mm -hmm. um, in a hotel, not in the truck. In a hotel. But yes. could you sleep in the truck? I could, but that is always the number one question that people ask. Do you sleep in it? We do not. <laughs> we do not sleep in it, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, in an emergency. In an emergency, I could, yeah. To be honest, I would want to be in yeah. this vehicle during the uh, zombie apocalypse because right. I would be safe and I would have yarn. Yeah, So I feel exactly. like it's perfect. Yeah. You know, an arrow bed, you get a little arrow Exactly, bed yeah. You know, yeah. worst case, you can just put all the yarn on the floor exactly. and sleep on it. Yes, we could do that. It's like a survival. Yeah. 
Yeah. I used Tra to keep an air mattress in here just yeah, for just in case. Just in case. So you don't Let's slam. I always slap my cheeks. You don't do that. I don't <laughs> do that. I will stop often. I will suck down the diet coke. Yes. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what about the name? Why is it called Yarn Birds? You know, originally I wanted um, knits of a feather. Mm. But there's a, um, and I forget the designer's name, but she had a book out. Mm -hmm. So, and with my corporate job, I worked in patents and trademarks. Mm -hmm. So I ran it by my patent and trademark attorney. He's like, yeah, I don't think we should do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I just, you know, I knew my name's Robin and I, you know, I'd liked, you know, the bird theme and everything. So we just kind of went with yarn birds. Love it. Yeah. So now, you've been doing some bending and knit and escape and you've always brought something special to the table. So is that how your business works? Are you always looking for that special thing for the always. festival? Always. Okay. I love I love the the new indie dyers or, you know, the dyers that no one's really heard of. I will scout them out on Etsy. Um, I will hound them to death until they, you know, yes, please let me have your yarn. So it's like with Fig and Posey, Denise was that way. I saw her yarn on Etsy. She had moved her daughter to Boston. She was in a teeny tiny apartment and she's like, oh, and I'm like, just please, just a little, let's just mm -hmm. see how it goes. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we did and, you know, she's always been a staple on the truck. Mm -hmm. Um, but a lot of times, you know, they'll, they'll, they roll in and roll out, mm -hmm. but there's just so many wonderful indie dyers and I just want to promote all of them. Yeah. So, so this is the one we're at the cast on yarn festival and this is the yarn of the moment, right? That yes. you had special. That yes. That is the exclusive. So how did you coordinate with her to get this specific color? How so did I, that work? I, I called Mary and said I need an exclusive colorway for the cast on uh, summer social. Christy's going to be there. And we, and we immediately thought of Ziggy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she says, Ooh, the Ziggy color, the mm -hmm. Ziggy uh, shawl that Christy had yeah. crocheted. So I'm like, yes, do that. Mm -hmm. And I, tr you know, I trust the dyers, mm -hmm. um, and I truly trust Mary because she's just amazing. Mm -hmm. She clearly has that skein machine. Look how she, tight. That yeah, is. she does. She has that. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a little tour of the yeah. of the truck. She'll put a little something outside, just so you know. Is this sheep have a name? Wilbur. Wilbur, of course. <laughs> okay, four to five people at a time, please. Okay, let's go in. Here, here's yarn birds. Oh, and what are you wearing today? People will want to know. Oh, this is the uh, Miserini, Miserino, Miserini, by Caitlin Hunter. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. Okay, so we walk in, and first we see some lovely French baskets. And is that for shopping with or to purchase? To purchase. Okay, I love. Yeah. And so this is the section that just doesn't fall off when you're driving. Yes. So this is usually the feature. Um, you know, the newest yarn that's on board. Um, and this is Apothecary. So she's a new dyer to me. She's out of Arkansas. She's amazing. Wow, look at those colors. Yeah. Look at this. I love people doing the little minis with the I sock know, sets yeah. right now. Apothecary. Oh, cute. Oh, so this is all her yarn. Yes. Cool. Okay, so that's what's on feature. It's almost like a little trunk show, would you say? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you have some samples here. And yep. do these some change samples. out based on? They do, just mm -hmm. based on what yarns are on the truck. This is the, the Yara by Natasha Hornby. Uh, and we just got in uh, Biche and Bouche. Mm -hmm. So Gorgeous. it's amazing. And the sample just came in just um, yesterday. So. Beautiful. <laughs> I like these. Yes, what the sock these? blockers. Yes. That maker is out of Poland. But she does an amazing, an amazing job. And I'm sure she's got, you know, the little machines that do all that. Mm -hmm. But gorgeous. Lots of fun. And then this is your show special. Mm -hmm. Love that. A little info. Okay. <gasps> Look at your chandelier. A chandelier. Yes. Okay. What's next? We have, oh, so is, how is it organized? So, um, fingering to, um, bulky. And I like these lights, so you had to figure that out. Well, my husband is an electrical engineer, mm. so um, so he knows lighting. So they're all LED. That is so helpful. Which is nice, yeah. Look at these, I've never seen these, this before. Yeah. This is, she's out of Reykjavik, Iceland. Mm. I think you've actually met her. Oh. Vivid, vivid yes, Wool. I didn't know yeah. she had the space. Yeah, this yeah, is which is fun. For her. And it knits up really cool. That's so fun. That's like classic mm -hmm. log cabin. Yeah. Oh, I love that. 
Oh, that's so fun. Yes, yeah. I did. I did interview her. I didn't recognize yeah, that as her yeah. wolf. Lena More, she's out of France. She is, oh, this is the softest yarn I think I've ever felt. So when someone is in, oh my gosh, it is soft. Yeah. What is that? It's baby alpaca, silk, and cashmere. So when someone in France hears from a yarn truck in middle America, do they, they, do they say, is this a crank call? No, I don't think so. I, so what I do is I send, uh, I send a nice note mm -hmm. and I send them pictures of the truck. Mm, good. That's good. Yeah. Especially yeah. the inside so they can see right. yeah, yeah. how it will be yeah. presented. Yeah. Yeah. Because I found it really hard to break through with the French knitting scene because all of the websites are in French and even that label's in French. I know. Which it should be. Yeah, exactly. But that's not yeah. always the case in other countries. You can kind of choose English on the website, right. for example, and you can't as much in France. No, no. Cool. And I think when I, when I was first working with her, I said, send me the English names so that mm -hmm. I know what to call them. Yeah, so, yeah. Exactly. Okay, let's keep yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. So this is off 29 Bridges. Mm -hmm. um, this is Mary Heron. She is out of, I'm going to say Maryland. Uh, and the 29 Bridges, I think, is based on Pittsburgh. Mm, I think that's yes, where, she, where she's right. from. Mm -hmm. So this is her go-to sock. And then this is her non-super wash. And then this is her Surrey Silk. Love it. Yeah. And then uh, Hugh Loco's Backyard Chickens mm -hmm. always fly off the truck. Mm -hmm. Always, always. So we can never keep them in stock. And the only thing with that is I'll get a, I'll get a nice sample made and then... She'll change, change the, chicken. the chickens. I'm like, oh, Nicole, I need that chicken back. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah. Do you yeah. get time to knit or do you have to depend I on... I do. Yeah. I do. But I do. I have two uh, sample knitters that do a lot of a lot of knitting for me, Judy and Katie. Mm -hmm. um, and they both, you know, pretty much knit in their sleep, I think. So... Love it. Yeah. What's yeah. this sample? This is... Um, Across the Pond by Andrea Mowry. So we came up with this sample because this is Walcott yarn, mm. uh, Opus, mm -hmm. and she's in Bath, England. Wow. So we need it across the pond. Oh, I get it. <laughs> this feels like yak. It is. Um, oh, it has baby alpaca. Merino and baby alpaca. And the Falkland Merino. Yeah. Wow, that is yeah. So but it's, it's wonderful. The Missoni uh, is knit with that as well. Wow. So yeah, so it's really nice. Love that. Okay. Yeah. We have, and now we're getting yeah. a little thicker. Yeah, okay. so now we're getting, so this is a sport. Uh, now we're getting into DK. Um, this is Fig and Posy. So Denise was with me at uh, the Rhinebeck Yarn Bazaar mm -hmm. in 2019. So yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And this is more 29 Bridges up here, which is her DK. And then this looks like, I remember meeting her. This is Feederbrook. Yeah. 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 Have you ever been to yeah. a TNNA? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I first probably discovered her too. Me too. Yeah. Okay, oh, cute. And then you yeah. have some bulky chunky back yep, here. Yeah, some bulky chunky. This is Eric and this is an Aaron Way. So this is Eric and Knight's Wild Wool. Um, oh, nice. Some of the Magpie bulky. Mm -hmm. And Shirsty Cat. She's another amazing dyer. Yeah, she She's out of Pennsylvania. Colors. Yeah, yeah. And then this is um, Hugh Loco's bulky, which is like uh, 300 yards. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I love so this double so ball. Or crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, shepherd's wool crazy. Oh, okay, I was going to say, yeah. um, it reminds me of Zauber balls. Right. The... Yeah. Well, oh, that's such a fun way to use it with that sweater. I know. This is the boxy. Yeah. Cute. And look at this nice quote. I'm going to make everything around me beautiful. That will be my life. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and then, oh, tell me about this cross stitch. This was my mother-in-law's. Mm. Yeah. It's perfect for the truck. Yeah. Birdie. Yeah. Birdie. Yep. Oh, here's more vivid wool. More so vivid she's, wool. <gasps> yeah. Oh, the zebra base. Yeah, those are fun. Oh, my gosh. She's an amazing dyer, too. Her color. I mean, her oh, name is, you beautiful. know, exactly that. She's just, her colors are always very vivid. Such a great collection too. I love yeah. this. Did you pick out which colors, or did she? I just think send them? she. I think that's all the colorways she had mm -hmm. in that. So I think that's probably what I did. Yeah. And a little cotton. Yeah, a little cotton. Um, I think this is a cotton and merino. Yeah. Oh, that's this what is this starry. Is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love that. Then we have yeah. some notions. Yeah. So there's always stitch markers. Um, we have, but we usually carry some others too, but if I'm working with a shop, I pull off anything where we overlap. 
Oh, so, nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. Our buttons, these are fun. These are hand dyed. Wow. Yeah, so she's a little dyer. I think she's out of Minnesota, I think. Nice. Yeah, so these are fun. I love this collection of. Yeah, they're all vintage. All mismatched. Yeah, yeah. So I think these are too. Fun. Oh, so I love it. Fun. Oh, look, look at these little guys. Yeah, they're handmade. She's a maker out of Virginia. So she spins the yarn, she knits the little faces. They're all handmade. She puts it all together. It's adorable. It's Goody Fiber Studio. Now, I would think that owning something like a yarn truck or a yarn shop would help you like buy all the things but not have to really buy them right you know what i mean like yeah i mean i, I do. want all of these yarns i know yeah and so you have them for a minute and then you like send them off to their next journey yep. and then we bring in somebody else yeah, yeah. that must be so fulfilling it is because it is. i you know I, I love i love them all there's just so many uh just amazing dyers out there mm -hmm. so and there and a lot of times you know because i don't have i don't have the room or anything yes. to stock a lot of product so I'm like, I'm a truck, I can't carry a lot, you know, just start me out with one or two bases. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they're happy not to have to do a huge yes. order. And they can fit me in between, you know, two big orders. Mm -hmm. And I just love the inventory rotating so quickly. Yeah. It's such a great yeah. model. Yeah. Well, are you having fun? Are you loving it? Loving it. I love it. I love my truck. I just love, um, you know, I've been doing this for six years and... The people that I've met are just amazing. I mean, our fiber community is just, I, I tell you, they're just it just makes my heart full. Yeah. <laughs> We're the best. We are the best. Well, thank you so much yeah. for showing us around the Yarnbirds truck. I'm so glad we could finally have a quiet moment to do a yes. tour. Yes, yeah. And I hope you have a great festival season. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.